New South Wales Health is urging the community to be vigilant following the first case of locally acquired monkeypox in New South Wales. There have been a total of 42 cases of the virus in New South Wales. Heath Painter is the Deputy CEO of the Australian Federation of AIDS Organisations. They're leading the community response in conjunction with federal health authorities and he joins us now from Sydney. Heath Painter, welcome. So what is monkeypox and how is it spread? Yeah, so monkeypox has been transmitted uh, among gay and bisexual men, um, mostly in the Northern Hemisphere, and it's been transmitted through sexual contact. And as you've said, uh, we've got 42 cases here uh, in New South Wales, where I am, but we've actually got uh, 89 cases in Australia, and each jurisdiction has recorded cases of monkeypox. And it's making news today because there's been the first local transmission of monkeypox detected in New South Wales. Has there been local transmission in a couple of other states and territories as well? Yeah, we're seeing um, some local transmission in Victoria. Um, so, so most of the transmission that we're seeing has been in travellers who've returned from settings where monkeypox is circulating. But yes, as you said, um, we are slowly starting to see transmission, um, which is acquired locally. Okay, so what should people be looking out for? Well, what we're saying, so with people uh, re returning from settings where monkeypox is circulating, it's really important that people, um, and, and, and we don't think it's unreasonable to ask this, that people abstain from sexual contact for two weeks and then engage health services for um, for a screen. Um, um, but we I'll are I'll just asking... pull you up there, so it's engage uh, from sexual uh, contact for two weeks after getting back to Australia. That's correct, right. yeah. So we're asking people just to abstain um, from sexual contact for two weeks, and that's only people who are returning from settings where there is community cases of transmission for two weeks, and, and that will give them enough time to monitor for symptoms and to seek immediate um, medical advice if symptoms um, appear. Uh, and, it, and we think it's reasonable to ask uh, gay men to engage in abstinence for that short period of time. But I want to make it clear that abstinence in the mid to long term is not a solution to an infectious disease like monkeypox. So can people pass it on to others before they have symptoms themselves? Uh, this is an emerging area of science, um, and it's not exactly clear whether this can be transmitted um, at that at, at, w without symptoms or or from people who are asymptomatic. Um, but what we do know, absolutely cer with certainty, is that this is being transmitted through sexual contact, and the risk of acquiring monkeypox in a sexual encounter with someone who has the virus uh, is very high. And what can people do to minimise the chance of catching it? So we have vaccines in Australia and vaccine, uh, Janaeus is the name of that vaccine. It's, it's, we think it's very effective at preventing um, acquisition of monkeypox. These have been rolled out at varying levels across each jurisdiction. And we encourage gay, uh, sexually active gay and bisexual men to apprise themselves of what the vaccine can do and where you can get it and to speak to doctors about um, a, a getting a vaccine. But also we ask gay men to monitor for symptoms and to be aware of what those symptoms might look like and seek immediate medical advice if symptoms appear. And I think we're getting stories that the vaccine is a bit hard to come by. Is it like not, not everyone can just wander into uh, their GP and ask for it? Yeah, well, so again, only gay and bisexual men need to be worried about this. The general population isn't at risk. In terms of your question about supply, Australia has procured a big order, but there is a global issue around supply. And so we're receiving that supply progressively over the next um, six months. There will be limitations for about the next um, month, but we ask people to be patient and we ask people to front end a discussion with their GP so that they can go on a list if they can't get it immediately when more supply is available in a month or so time. And are there two, I've heard there are two generations of vaccines. Is there the one that's being rolled out already? You've said you're um, quite optimistic of just how effective that is at preventing. And yeah, just on that po point, does it prevent you catching the disease altogether or does it um, just minimise the symptoms? 
Yeah, that's that's a really good point because some people are pushing this through the COVID um, um, imprint of vaccines. We understand that that two doses of Janaeus, which is the third generation vaccine, will provide people with up to 85% protection against acquiring the virus. So that's a little bit different to COVID where it simply reduced the symptoms. We think that this will be very effective at preventing people from acquiring the virus, but potentially also um, from um, experiencing severe symptoms associated with infection. And did, did you say that's the third generation vaccine? That's correct, yeah. It's called Janaeus, and yeah. that's the third generation. There is a second generation um, vaccine, um, um, and Australia has uh, uh, access to that in the stockpile. There, there, there are issues with the, with the safety profile of the older vaccine and also the way it's administered. So there is complexity in rolling out what's what's called ACAM 2000, that's the second generation vaccine. Um, uh, it, it is problematic for people who are immunocompromised, but it's also the way it's administered. It's an old way of administering vaccines and that creates complexity for health services. Um, the best bet in terms of rolling out a vaccine for monkeypox is using the, the third generation vaccine, Janaeus, the one that Australia will progressively receive over the next six months. And what's the wait time between the first and second injection of that? Yeah, so it's a minimum of a month, but it doesn't have to be spot on with 30 days or 28 days after your first injection. People can wait several months. In actual fact, we think that that protection actually increases after a couple of months. So, so there's no risk of someone getting their first shot now and having to wait two or three or four months for the second shot. Uh, that, 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 that will not reduce their protection from monkeypox. And how much protection do you get just from the first shot? Uh, we, we think that's around 60 to 70 percent. Um, there's a slight variation uh, between um, people, uh, the ordinary person and someone who's immuno, immunocompromised. And that's why we're asking people who are immunocompromised to come forward or, or be contacted by um, health services for the vaccine immediately because they will get stronger protection from two vaccines as distinct from one. And now that there's starting to be local transmission in Australia, how widespread do you expect monkeypox will be in two months and six months in Australia? Look, it's very hard to tell. Um, we've, we've had monkeypox in Australia now for three months and we've effectively avoided uh, local transmission for a range of reasons um, uh, across the last three months. Um, um, we, we, we would expect that there will be more um, locally acquired monkeypox in Australia, particularly as travellers um, continually return home um, from travelling, but also as summer comes, we will see many people from the Northern Hemis Hemisphere travel to Australia. So potentially there will be more monkeypox brought into Australia and we should expect to see more local transmission across the country, not just in Sydney and Melbourne, and we need to be prepared for that. And that's why we ask men to be very cognizant of the symptoms that they could experience, which could indicate monkeypox and to seek immediate attention, medical attention for screening. And there are quite noticeable symptoms. Uh, what's, what is the um, prognosis for people who do get this and the likelihood, have, have there been any deaths around the world? Yeah, so um, there have been a very small number of deaths um, from monkeypox um, with the current monkeypox that's circulating in the Northern Hemisphere. They're still under investigation. Our under or we know that this is time limited, so this is not something that you'll have for life. Um, someone who acquires monkeypox in Australia with our um, level of, um, uh, with our health system should expect to recover uh, somewhere between three and six weeks. Um, uh, and no one, um, um, obviously, in Australia who's had this has passed away. And, and, and we don't expect, as I said, with our health system to see fatalities if we can keep this among gay and bisexual men. Of course, the, the game, our end game with this is to stop it from entering into the general population where it could reach um, communities and individuals whose, poor, who, whose health, come, health is more at risk of poorer health outcomes. Um, and that that would be a problem. But at the moment, we're seeking to keep this contained to gay and bisexual men and men who get it should expect to recover quickly. 
but there will be some discomfort from the symptoms that they will experience. And how? What, what's what's the level of that discomfort? How how sick uh, can people expect to get if they do catch this? Look, some of the symptoms, uh, and, and it, we have to be honest with this, this, some of the symptoms are very uncomfortable and we're seeing um, rashes on parts of the body. So, so in the genital area, in the perianal area, which are very uh, uncomfortable and are causing inflammation to parts of the body that for people are very personal. And so people who acquire the virus through sexual contact, um, uh, th th there is a high risk that they will experience symptoms that are discomforting and in some cases may need hospitalisation. And there is treatment for people who experience um, uh, really severe reactions or severe inflammation from monkeypox. That's not all people and many people are recovering without needing hospitalisation, but we are seeing cases of people who are experiencing really discomforting um, outcomes from this infection, but they will recover. Yep. Okay, Heath Payne, really good to have a chat to you about this and get that information out there. And if people want more information, where should they go? Uh, so they can go to uh, our website, AFAO, or, uh, or they can go to our member organisations, ACON and Thorn Harbour Health in New South Wales and Victoria. We all have websites on monkeypox that provide a lot of information that's available. Um, and also um, uh, departments of health around the country also have websites and material available for communities so that they can um, build their awareness of what this virus can do to you and also to provide information on the vaccine. Okay, Heath Painter there from the Australian Federation of AIDS Organisations.